some of the most commonly used forms within Forms Boss Plus are the certificates. So I want to show you some unique uh, features that we have in Forms Boss Plus that make uh, using certificates even easier. On your alphabetical listing of forms here, you can search for your certificate by just typing the word certificate. And you can see all the forms that have certificate in uh, their title. This uh, certificate of liability insurance is the most common one, so let's take a look at that one. It will open up to um, the last record that we had worked on within uh, this certificate. Um, I'm going to create a new record here to show you uh, how to use the certain features of a certificate. I need to select a customer first and it will fill out the customer information for me. If I would like to use a different address for this customer than the one that's included on the customer prospects form, I can just click this box right here and it will allow me to type a different address in instead of the one that's on the customer prospect form. So instead of having to change uh, the address on the customer prospect form, I can just uh, type a different address in here. And in order to use the one that's on the customer prospect form, I just leave this box unchecked and it appears there. You'll notice uh, when you create a new record um, of a certificate, it will enter your date entered for today's date here at this top date entered, but then you have another date entered down below um, that's a green color. These green fields are specific to uh, the certificate holders on the form. So you'll notice as we scroll down through this form that there are some green check boxes here and even down here below, if we scroll down to the very bottom of this form, here's the holder section of the form with all of these green fields. Let me show you how to add certificate holders to a certificate. First you're going to click down here in the uh, holder toolbar, you'll click the new record button, then you'll click your add edit lookup holders button and it will pull up your master list of certificate holders. You can find the holder that you're looking for by clicking the search for holders button. You can type search characters in there or just select your holder from the list. Click OK. It will take you to that holder record in the master list. And then if you click OK on the master list, it will pre-fill that specific holder into your form. I want to um, draw your attention to the other features in this um, holders toolbox here. You'll see these little red arrows. You can use those arrows to move the name and address of the certificate holder up and down and left and right on your form. That's useful if you need for that certificate holder's name and address to print, for example, so that it will show properly in a window envelope. You can just move it to wherever it needs to show. And keep in mind that the actual green part uh, won't uh, print when you actually print the form, just this text will print. Um, so you don't have to be concerned about if you move it to the right a little bit and these uh, fields are overlapping the line, those are not going to actually show when you print it out. So you just move that to wherever you want it to be um, and when you save it in that place then it will remain in that same place for every certificate that you do. You don't have to rearrange every single um, certificate holder when you add them in. So right now I have one certificate holder um, attached to this form and I'm going to type uh, in some different things with these different green fields for this certificate holder. And save it. Now let's say I wanted to add a second certificate holder for this same certificate. I would just click the new record button again. I could just type in on screen here to add a certificate if I wanted to, but if I know that I already have my information for my certificate holders added into my certificate holder master list, I would just click my button here, navigate to the holder that I want to add with the search 
feature. Click OK and there it filled in uh, my second holder. You'll see now that there's two records uh, under the holder toolbar there. You can navigate back and forth between your holders with these uh, navigational buttons here and you'll notice when you do so that all of the green fields change specific to each holder. So that's the uh, holder section on a certificate. Let me show you one more unique feature of the certificate. You'll see these red arrows um, that are listed in the different sections of the policy effective and expiration date area. I'm going to put in um, an effective date and an expiration date. And then if I wanted to update these dates uh, to go backwards one year or forwards one year, I would just click these buttons, these little arrow buttons, and I can increase or decrease the year of my effective and expiration dates just by clicking those buttons. And if you had dates entered in all of these fields, it, these buttons would control all of the dates in this box. These buttons would control all of the dates in this box and so on. So that's a handy way to update your certificates from year to year. You don't have to type in a whole new certificate. You can just make a duplicate copy and then change the date. So that is um, the handy features that you can discover within uh, the certificates themselves inside Forms Boss Plus.